my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection and my storage video. This video has been highly requested since I filmed my very first haul. And yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys um, my makeup collection because you guys have literally been asking for so long. So this is an overview of my vanity area. So you can see that I've got this mirror. The mirror I bought from a place called The Range. And The Range is like a UK store. I think they have an online store. But it's basically just this tall rectangular mirror that has like a diamante setting around the outside. It was actually quite inexpensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it must have been £30 roughly. But that's really cheap for a mirror of that size. I'm going to be going through the top of the vanity in a little bit and just go through the different storage and what's inside and then also down here I've got two sides of these Alex drawers. These Alex drawers are from Ikea and you must have seen these before. They're very popular on YouTube. A lot of people have them. They're a really nice size. They've got two skinny ones at the top and then they've got three deeper ones at the bottom. So in this very first drawer at the top is my foundation, concealer and primer drawer. You're going to be seeing these clear containers a lot through this video. I've got like a few different sizes and I've just sort of scattered them throughout the drawers. So these are from a place called Lakeland. This compartment here, it's in one of them big clear cases again. This is just full of my foundations. I've got my two Laura Mercier silk cream foundations and then I've got my Rimmel Stay Matte and then I'm not going to get these ones out but I've got my L'Oreal True Match and my Bourjois Healthy Mix. These are in darker colours than who I am now. I was using them more in the summer. And then I've got two Maybelline Dream Satin Liquids. These are more close to the colour that I am now. And then also here I have two MAC Face and Body Foundations. I've got one there which is in the colour C4 and then I've got this one here which is in C5. Then also I've got my MAC Studio Fix and then two Match Master Foundations. My Estee Lauder Double Wear, again this is in more of a tan colour. And then I've got my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation as well. Also, this didn't fit anywhere else, but I've got my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. And then just here, I've got two cream foundations. So I've got the MAC Full Coverage Foundation. Then I've got the Some Kind of Gorgeous by Benefit. And just in this section up here and down the side are some primers and some tinted moisturizers and stuff like that. I've got my MAC CC Color Correcting Primer. Then I've got my Prep and Prime Skin by MAC. I've got my Fast Response Eye Cream by MAC as well. I've got my Maybelline Baby Skin, L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer, and Air Flash CC Primer by Dior. Then I've got down the side of here two of the MAC Studio Finish Concealers. I've got um, in a light and then in the sort of medium shade. Then I've got my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the illuminating one. I've got my MAC Oil Control Lotion, which you guys know that I love. I've got a MAC Beauty Balm, which I haven't actually used yet. I've got a Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturiser, which I used a lot in the summertime. I've got a Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer Primer, which I used once, but I got a rash, so I'm not sure if that caused it or it was a coincidence, but I'm too scared to try it again. Here are my highlighters and concealers. So I've got the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. I've got my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which you guys know I use a lot. My NARS Sheer Glow. MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. Three of the MAC Mineral Concealers. Got a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, a Bobbi Brown Touch Up Stick, a Maybelline Instant Anti Age Rewind Thing, and then I've got a NYX HD. Then I've got a NYX HD concealer as well. I've got three cream concealers. I've got one Kiko one. Then I've got a Bobbi Brown one in the light bisque colour. And this is really good for counteracting under eye circles. And then the well-known one I use all the time is the creamy concealer in beige. I use this to do my eyebrows all the time. In the drawer just below that is my blusher, bronzer and powder drawer. On the far left are some of my blushes. Now at the back here I have got a sleek blush kit. And this is one that I do not use at all. I just keep that down there because it fits really nicely. And then from the front, I've got four NARS blushes. And then from there back, these are all matte. So this section stops there and then it carries on to bronzers at the back. So the powders here, I've got a MAC Studio Fix powder. I've got three Mineralize Skin Finishes. And that is the MAC Mineralize Loose Powder and that's in medium. This is one of my favorites and this is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. At the back I've got a Bobbi Brown um, pressed powder. I have my Rimmel Stay Matte, which I love. I've got a Cryolan loose powder. Then I've got a NARS setting powder. This is the radiant one. Then I've got my Ben Nye Banana Powder and then my MAC CC 
powder in the neutralized yellow color. And away at the back over here, I have got my bronzers. This is my Bobbi Brown bronzer, which you guys know that I love. Then I have another Bobbi Brown like highlighter or like a brightening finishing powder. Then I have this Saint Marie bronzing powder. I've got the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer, which is gorgeous as well. Then here I have a sleek contour kit. I have my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. And then way at the back, I have a, another sleek contour kit. Then just on this side, I've got two blushes that didn't fit anywhere else. And then I've also got um, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark, which I like to use for bronzer. And then I've got another skin finish in Dark Golden. And then I've also got a Studio Fix Powder in CA. Then just down the side of here are some more blushes and highlighters. Um, now the majority of the highlighters that I use often are either here or they're at the top of my vanity. At the back, I have two of these um, these extra dimension skin finishes by MAC and to be honest I don't really use these often. I've got a more MAC Mineralize skin finishes in different colours so I've got one in gold deposit, global glow and then an old styled one in a soft and gentle. Here I have three NYX blushes, these don't want to come out easily, these are like really stuck but yeah those are just sitting in there. And then these I go for really often so these are really easy to, to just grab out. These are my The Balm blush bronzers and I have got Cabana Boy, my Hot Mama which is my favourite blush at the moment, it's just the most gorgeous peachy colour with a gold sheen. Got my Bahama Mama which you guys see me use all the time. Here I have got my um, luminizers by The Balm, I've got my Cindy Luminizer, Betty Luminizer and of course the Mary Luminizer, I love this one. And then I also just have some random blushes down here and some liquid illuminators that I couldn't fit anywhere else. On the side of here, I've got two um, of the Benefit um, High Beam and Sun Beam. I've got a Lancome um, Taint Miracle highlighter. And, and then of course, one of my favorites, my BB Plus Illumination by Gerard Cosmetics. Draw below that is a deeper draw. So these ones are a little bit thinner and then this one is a little bit deeper. Here I keep all my freelance stuff. So at the top, I just keep my brush belt, which is um, the brush belt I use when I take to clients. And then I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this because there's so much. If you guys want me to show you my freelance kit, I will definitely do that because a couple of you have asked. So if you guys wanna see an in-depth freelance kit video, then please do let me know in the comments below because um, I don't wanna go into too much detail because there's so much in here. The next two drawers are pretty boring to be honest. They're non-makeup related. I've got my Bellamy 6-in-1 Compete Curler and I keep it in the box because it just keeps the ones really um, nice and safe. And then I've got another curling one in there. So now I have moved over to the right side of my vanity, the top drawer drawer is a little bit of a boring drawer unfortunately. This is less like a necessity drawer. Now in this um, long compartment here I have got a multiple of really boring things. I have got a hand gel then I've got a Dr. Organic um, Pure Tea Tree Oil and I've got a Clinique Anti-Blemish Solution Gel. And then I have here my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion. Then I have an eyelash curler. In the drawer just next to it, I've got all my brow stuff. So these are all the things that I use for my brows. Then I've got a pair of nail scissors, which I use to sort of just like trim my brows here and there. I've got my MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof Brow Set in Quiet Brunette. I've got my brow pencils there. So there's some MAC Spiked and Stud and also some little spoolies that I use to brush out my brow hairs and then also a bunch of different tweezers. And then at the back here, I've just got a couple of the Garnier BB creams, which I couldn't fit in anywhere else. And then I have got my Bioderma makeup remover. And then in this little section here, this is like another case from the range, and I've got all my mascaras in there. And then just down here, I've got some eyelashes. So these are just, um, I've got some red cherry ones. I've also got some MAC ones here. I also have some individual ones as well. And in the drawer below that, this is one of my favorite drawers. Um, this is my second favorite drawer. And this is my eye drawer. In this big section here are just a bunch of different stuff. So I'm just gonna go through them very quickly. I've got some of the Maybelline color tattoos, got a MAC black track, and then two Maybelline gel eyeliners. Then I've got here an Inglot gel eyeliner, and then here I've got some MAC large size eyeshadows. And then also at the back, I've got an Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow. And then here I have six MAC paint pots. I'm not gonna go into them, um, but they're all different colors. And then here are some single eyeshadows, a L'Oreal one, and then I've got here a Maybelline one. And then I've got two MAC singles. And then here I have four of the Kiko water eyeshadows. In the back I've got a Laura Mercier single eyeshadow as well. And then down here I have some of the Everyday Minerals um, pigments. And then I've got two of the Kiko um, mineral looking eyeshadows. So I've got a brown one and then I have a gold one. And then I've got here my... Uh, 
And then I've got here my Sugar Pill Poison Plum. And then here I have four of my MAC pigments. I've got Melon, Tan, Vanilla, and Naked. Berry M pigments, which you guys know that I love. And then I've also got here my um, pencil sharpener. I've got this case full of like glitters and I've got my um, Glam Crystals by Collection down there and I've also got like a bunch of NYX ones and a Kiko one and then I've got some Sugar Pill pigments and then my favourite glit my favourite loose glitters which is the Shop by the Boss glitters I've got some MAC Reflex glitter there as well and then I also have um, a model's own thicker form of glitter at the back here I have my eyeshadow bases I've got another soft over here and then I've got here a NYX eyeshadow base and then down here I've got two of the miniature versions of the primer potions by Urban Decay I've also got my shop violet Voss glitter adhesive and then I've got my stay don't stray eye primer as well I've also just got a bunch of different um, NYX jumbo pencils this little section here I just have a bunch of different NYX pigments and also I've got two little glitters here as well then in this little section here is like my eyeliner stuff. Also I've got my Schwing um, by the Balm. Then I've got my Lime Crime Quill Liquid Eyeliner. I've got my Collection 2000 Fast Stroke Eyeliner. My L'Oreal Pen Eyeliner which I've been loving recently. And then the rest are all pencils. So I've got a couple of MAC pencils. So I've got the Scandalized by Rimmel. That's a nude colour as well. And then the rest of them are all just different colour MAC ones. And then just down the side here are some various like eye palettes and stuff like that. These are the Makeup Revolution Foiled Eyeshadows. And I've got a MAC mineralized quad and this is one of the blue ones and then I've got a MAC Blue Lux um, eyeshadow palette and I've got a limited edition Antonio Lopez one and also I've got like a Bobby Brown limited edition thing as well it's got lip colors in there and then eyeshadows and I've got a MAC quad which you guys must have seen me use I've also got this NARS limited edition one this is the Garb Guy Board one one I cannot pronounce that so the next drawer is by far my favorite drawer out of my whole desk and this is my palette drawer. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through this very quickly. I'm not gonna go for it too much. If you want me to do like a palette collection and stuff like that, I will show you guys in depth stuff. Um, so let me know in the comments if there's anything particular that you would like to see in depth. So first of all, I'll just let you know what's way in the back. I've just got a couple of like face painting stuff. So if you can't see it, I've got like a Crayola and Aqua color set. And I've also got here an Inglot lip palette, a Makeup Forever Flash palette. I keep that back there. And then a bunch of different um, sleek palettes. I keep them back there as well. And then I've also got an, a small Urban Decay one. I don't know what these are. I bought these from WH Smith, which is like a stationery store. And these, I don't know what they're meant to be. I think they might be like letter solvers or something. I will try and pull it out just so I can show you. So it's basically like split on the sides and that's what just what I use. I've got two of them back to back and that's what I use to organise the palette. Um, so at the back I've got my cream foundation palette. So the top is all MAC full coverage foundations and the bottom is all Bobbi Brown foundation sticks. And then I've also got my contouring and highlighting palette by MAC and I've just got three highlighting colours and three contouring colours. And this is like my bright palette from MAC. These are all like the bright colours. And then also I've got like my neutral matte set and this is like all the neutral matte shades. Then I also have my neutral shimmery colours and I've just got Rule there as well because I love that colour. I just keep that with that as well. Just in this section here I've got some of the Balm palettes. And then here I have my Smashbox Full Exposure palette. I've got my Anastasia and Rezzy palette and this is the limited edition one. Then I've got my Lime Crime Venus palette. Then I've got my Urban Decay Spoked Smoked? My Urban Decay Smoked palette, which is really nice. It's got really nice smoky colours in it. A Morphe lip palette, which is incredible. Oh my god, I need to get this out. Ah. An Inglot eyeshadow palette, which again I created myself. And then I've got my Urban Decay Vice 2, which and then I've got a couple of my Morphe eyeshadow palettes. So I've got like the Jaclyn Hill one, another eyeshadow one, and then another one. And then I've got a Z palette with some stuff that's depotted, but I haven't um, filled it with much else. And then down the side of here, I have got my Urban Decay 1, 2, and 3 palettes. So this drawer is really, really messy. Um, I just keep my skincare in here, my Stylist Mar by Whitening Lightning. Just got like various masks and tanning stuff, coconut oil, body shop. I won't go too much into this stuff because um, it's not makeup, so I won't go too much into it. And then in the very bottom drawer, I've just got like random hair brushes and hair bands and 
hairsprays and stuff like that. So before I talk about what's around it, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the organizers. So I've got a two drawer set from Muji and these have two deep set drawers. This just sits on the top and this is from Amazon. What I like to keep here mainly is most used products. So I've got all my MAC lip liners here. So I've got all my colored ones. Um, these are the nude tone ones, so I like to keep those in there. This large compartment here, I just like to keep my lip palette. And also here, which is in easy reach, is my favorite foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I just keep this there so I can reach for it. And then like I said earlier, I like to keep my mascara I'm using at the moment. And this is the MAC Extended Play one. And also here, I like to keep my Real Technique sponge because I've been loving that at the moment. And then also another sponge, which is from MAC. At the back here, I've got my Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion Serum from MAC. I've got a tiny little Fix Plus spray. And then I've got a Body Shop Kabuki brush. And then at the back, I've just got some brush cleaning. And then at the back here, which is that colorful thing that you can see, this is the My Makeup Revolution Ultimate Collection palette. So in the top drawer of this Muji drawer, I've got all of my Shimmer Bricks by Bobbi Brown, got a Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, my Becca Cosmetics Highlight in Opal, an adhesive, a MAC lip primer, and some little other random glues there as well. In the drawer below, I have just got various different stuff in here. I've got some MAC sample pots of just random stuff, so the rest are all MAC lipsticks that I don't use as much, and then a Kate Moss lipstick that I don't really use that often as well. And also here I have four glass jars that hold my brushes and these are basically just normal um, cube jars and they're like quite thick and really good quality and they were really really cheap so that's really good and then I filled them with a sand vase filler so the way that I sort of organized my brushes are my most used MAC ones so I've just got a couple of different MAC face brushes here a MAC concealer brush and then some other concealer brushes here and here are my blending brushes and then also here I've got some shading brushes and all the way in this corner is just a couple of different types of brushes so I've got some pencil and detailing brushes here and here are some more like angled ones and and then just below that there are some more matte lipsticks they're not really organized in any sort of way it's just they're really easy to just grab and then just here I've got some cotton pads which I use to remove like my eye makeup and then I have this little tiny mirror drawer which I also got from the shop that I bought the um, vases for my brushes it was pretty inexpensive as well it's just like a normal drawer set which you can put anything in but I chose to put some of like my lip balms in and then in the bottom drawer I've just got a couple of random things I've just got this random little kabuki brush and then I also have in here um, some some other random lip liners. I've just got a couple of MAC ones that I don't use as often. They're the Pro Longwear ones. And then I've got all my NYX lip liners and then a Jordana one as well. And then just above this mirror drawer, I keep this little box of Q-tips and then more cotton. And then I also keep two little pencil holders full of brushes. And these are just other face brushes. So this one is full of completely Real Technique brushes. So I've just got various different ones from different sets. Back here, I've also got some other random brands of brushes. So it can be anything, these ones. I've got some Zoeva, like random brands that I like to use sometimes. Morphe, Tom Ford, Zoeva. Yeah, it all just depends, but that one's a little bit more random in brand. This is my mirror that I use to do more close-up work, and this is from Revlon. I bought this from Costco, and this was pretty inexpensive as well. It has a magnified side, which is good for like plucking eyebrows and stuff like that. And then it also has, oops, it also has another side which is normal as well. And it does have three settings of lighting it up. So it's got the first side, which is a white light, and then it also has a second setting, which is a yellow light, and then it also has a third setting, which is like an even brighter blue white light. So on my last Muji organizer, I have on the top a, another one of these lipstick holders so I've got here six Tom Ford lipsticks and then I also have a random bourgeois one but, and then I've got a YSL lip tint and then from here I've got my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and these are obviously the prettiest packaging ever I've got a YSL lipstick that I purchased and then here I also have some other YSL ones that I got free from work and also here I have got three lime crime ones up and then also here I have got two of the mineralized lipsticks from MAC and then I've also got one Pro Longwear one by MAC Nude and then I've got a huggable lip colour and this red colour and then just behind I've got some setting sprays and makeup remover so I've got my MAC Fix Plus in the larger size, the NYX Matte Finishing Spray and then I've got the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray I've got my Urban Decay All Night to Makeup Setting Spray, my Bioderma. So in this very last organizer, I have all my lip products. The first top drawer has a various different amount of things. 
So the top one has some of my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. And I've also got my NYX butter glosses at the top here. And then I also have some of the Lime Crime Velveteen sitting here as well. I've got some random lipsticks that didn't fit anywhere else, so they just sit at the back of here. I've got two MAC lip glosses, which are from the Mineralize collection, and then also two limited edition um, MAC. Then in the next drawer, I have my Color Your Smile lip glosses in the old packaging. So I just keep them in there, and then at the back, I've got one more of those. Back here, I've got my MAC lip gloss, and I've got the Benefit Bella Bamba. Apocalypse by Rimmel, and then a MAC patent polish lip pencil. And then in the next drawer, I have a couple of the Minx liquid matte lipsticks. And then here I've got some NYX soft matte lip creams, and then a Collection 2000 cream puff one. One NYX jumbo lip pencil, and then one um, lip gloss from the balm. I've got one Clinique chubby stick in a nude colour. I've got a Maybelline lipstick, and then one Revlon lip butter back there. And then two of the Maybelline really bright coloured ones. And then down here I have my MAC lip glosses and my lip tars. So I've got all my lip tars at the back, and then I've got one random NYX Extreme lip cream. I've got a MAC Dazzle Gloss, a MAC Cream Sheen, and then I've got a Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Gloss, and then one NARS. And then the very bottom drawer is unfortunately not very interesting. I've got some lipsticks and stuff that I don't use as often. And then here I keep double-ended brushes and also brushes that I don't really reach for that often. So guys, that is the end of this vanity tour. I would get in the camera, but I have no makeup on at the moment. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Just want to say that I am not bragging in the slightest. Uh, you guys have been requesting this for a long time. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you would like to see any individual tour. So if you would like to see like my brush collection and I can show you my brushes in depth or lipstick collection or MAC lipstick collection. So just let me know if there's anything that you'd want to see. Apart from that, I hope you have an amazing day and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.